everybody hello 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 um we're back with the uh, chapter three Let's see what we can make out of the chapter three and i've kind of got two things going on here i've got the one that i showed you yesterday which is using the um dies which was you know what i intended to do but it's kind of gone down a pretty route and i've got this one which is also using the dies but it's more of a sort of timmy root so i'll try and do them both so you can really see the dies working at their finest because i think the pretty one it's really useful but it's probably not showing all the little bits and pieces that um you know the other splendor of this die set so this is the one that's called postal envelope journaling card to go inside three labels arrows some stamp shapes of course the numbers again a special delivery note this one's registered you can put something in there and these curly arrows and the pointy finger it's, it's a really big kit actually 49 dies it tells me um so yeah there's lots to go at and this is the big one they each come with one base piece and the base piece for this is the envelope. So I have I've cut them all out so you can have a look at them and see what you think. I've cut them in craft and cream. But I'll just show you the craft one because they stand out better, I think. They're all in a muddle now. So I've used the envelope already. Um, that's all the numbers, the arrows that little piece there which is quite useful in at times this is a special delivery but i haven't poked the letters out yet um in a bit of a shade are we got a shade situation going on let's go and close some curtains <laughs> well i would if it would let me pause but it doesn't want to let me pause so i'll just carry on right um so yeah i just stamped a stamp on on there it's just an oval right so let's see um where we're up to so this is our will be journal eventually uh, and this was the page that we did yesterday let me just turn my phone off oh dear this carries Kerry's husband caught COVID. Oh no, just could do without it. Uh, this is the page that we made yesterday. It was the coin envelope. We've got a. Oh no, we haven't. That's all stuck down. It's a pocket, isn't it? That's right. We've got this little pocket in there with the flower that we painted, some numbers, stamps, etc. And that just lives in there. It's not as tight as it's making out. It's just trying to be awkward. Um, and on the back, we've got this, which this is a little journaling card and comes out. And it tucks back into that rose. And then here, this tag here suggests that something's inside. So when we open it up, that's what we've got inside. Quite spectacular, really. Uh, so that just, was there anything on the back of that or not? I can't remember. Oh yeah, we just our splishy splashy background, which is very nice. So that just tucks into there. So that's where we're up to at the end of yesterday. And then I decided that I would um, carry on, do all the backgrounds for all the big pieces and sew them all in. So you can see, you get the idea of what it's going to look like now. All the pages are made up of the Tim Holtz chapter three large pieces. So they're all ready for us to have a go at. And when I did that, I didn't like that. Uh, it was too cream up there. So I just got some washi tape and I think it might, I don't think it's Tim's, although I think he does something similar. Uh, I think it might be Dina Wakely, I think, her tape. And it's just alphabet. I just wanted something really to fill that very cream background in. So that means today we're working on this. Yay, we got there eventually. Um, so I want a card that goes inside. And 
and somewhere I have one. Now I did sort all this out and then, you know, I've probably forgotten now what was going where. That's that's the card that goes inside, but I also cut it out in craft. So I think I'll use the craft one. That's perfect. Um, and I did find my, well, not the tag that belongs to this, but that little set. And I think it's an Elizabeth craft set. And it's just all, um, ta you know, tag pulls. So I've cut that out as well in cream and craft. And I think I might use this one for it. So let's ink around it first. Oh my goodness, it's just getting worse and worse. <gasps> On my desk, it's going from bad to worse. I've got things all over the place. And they're all things I can't move because it's like dies on top of bits of paper. So really, once I've finished this live, I need to get that sorted because otherwise they're just going to end up on my desk and, you know, get lost and useless. That's a bit light. I think we established that yesterday, that that was a bit light for that. So I'll use this. I don't want it to be too grungy looking. Uh, the other uh, journal that I'm doing, I'll call it a journal, yeah, it is a journal, that I'm doing, the Timmy Holtz one, it's going to be a bit more grungy. This, I, I want to just show that you don't have to do grunge with, with Tim. You can use the shapes, and I'm not utilising these to the best, I really am not, because, like I say, there's all those little bits that I could be using right before I put that on there how about we stamp something on there how about I find my stamps yeah here we go I did uh, weed my field notes took all the spare red rubber off because uh, it was driving me mad basically uh, I'm looking for a little number if we had one I mean that's just tiny isn't it so I just need a tiny number Let's see what else I've got in the land of numbers and stuff. I guess these are all too big, are they? Yeah, 100 times too big. Well, I know. Why don't we stick one of the die cuts on? Wouldn't that be a better idea? I think so. So, here's all my cream stuff. So let's just find a number. Number three. That sounds good to me. Oops, I've got eight as well. Um, let's pop that on there. Glue, tweezers. Tweezers and glue, okay. Now they're ready. Yeah, COVID is still around, guys. Probably <laughs> as prolific as ever. It's just that now... Um, we've we've had uh, our boosters and everything. It's not hospitalising as many people, but it still makes you feel grotty, and it's not something that you want. There we go. Got three on that. That looks nice. Much better than a stamp would have looked, I feel. And I'm going to stick that onto there. Yeah, that's what's occurring here. So I hope that some of you will have a go at this, actually. I mean, if you haven't got the Chapter 3 uh, dies, it's absolutely not the end of the world because you can make an envelope, you can make a coin envelope, you can make a file folder. Heck, I sell templates on my shop for all of those things. So, you know, it can be done. So just want it about there, just coming up to there. It's only a tiny little tag holder, this, but tag pull, I suppose it is more correctly. But it's big enough for this card because the card's only tiny. Right, now I think what I was going to put on this was this. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's what I was going to put on there. Now I just want to chop that. I've got a white 
white margin down there and I just want to chop that off. And I've got one on the other side as well. Let's, let's square it up, shall we? Square it up a bit anyway. I'll take that white edge off there. Right, lovely. So this is, uh, this lace is from a kit by Lorna Taylor. She does lovely kits. That's going to be fine. It's just going to fit on just, but just as good enough. It's another absolutely freezing cold day here. It's not quite as freezing cold as yesterday. It's just minus five today. But I tell you, <coughs> it absolutely doesn't feel any warmer. It's a freezing cold day. Right, so let's get that stuck onto here. I've got a bit of an overlap, but that's fine. We can trim that off. Ugh, I've got glue everywhere. Even the cat doesn't want to go out in this weather. It definitely doesn't. That's pretty square up there, so that's okay. There we go. I can't see my number three. I've put it on too low. Rats. Rats and cats. Can I take it off? Well, I've taken it off, kind of jig it up the number, but I have plenty. Um, number eight it is, because number eight came to the top first. Um, let's just try and make sure that does fit on there. Yeah, just, it, it just does, but you know, that's all it's got to do. It's just got to fit on. Some of that glue off. Right, pop that on there. That's lovely. That's a much better position for it. Don't know what I was thinking about. So yeah, I mean the idea is I'm I'm using chapter three to do this. You absolutely do not have to. And I think Chastita is doing one. Um you know, one similar to this, following along. She hasn't got the chapter three, no inclination to go and get the chapter three. So she's you know using her noddle as she goes along. And I'm sure if you're a member of the Miss Painterlot's Junk Journal group, she will be shown as pictures. I'm sure she will. I hope she will. Right, so that's that's that. That's our card for inside there. Yeah, that's great. That works. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> so let's... What I wanted to do was put a little... Um, sticker on it so I've got these stickers from my good friend Ali they're lovely they're shiny ones but I, I honestly don't mind um, I think I'll try and stick with pinks and reds so look at that one what's that got to say it's okay it's marginally too big I think this one too big okay this one perfect it's the goldilocks one not too big not too little just perfect i do like these stamps this is about my third or fourth bundle of these stamps uh stickers and at first when i when i first opened the package and they were in there i thought oh <coughs> they're shiny i won't use those but i love them so that's going to go on there. So it's just a matter of getting the front off the back. And sometimes it can be a little tedious, but I generally take my, um, this whatever I'm using, what do you call it? Scal scalpel. I wanted to call it a scapula there. 
And that's his shoulder blade, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, take your shoulder blade. Sorry about this, it, it just is tedious. The washy ones are no problem to get off, but these ones. I would pause you at this stage, but as we know, pause isn't working today. Come on. Okay, let's try a different tack. Let's try just bending it over a little bit and seeing if I can force the two apart. I'm thinking this is a bit that needs to be edited. Put my editing skills to the test. Oh, is that it? I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, hooray! Right, so let's get that where it needs to be. Phew, that was a bit of a trauma, wasn't it? Let's put that blade away. Cut the bottoms off. There we go. I don't need flower stalks for anything, so they can go in the bin, except they've now formed an attachment to me. There we are. Right. So I'm just going to take my bone folder and I'm just going to go over that so it's really, really stuck down. Once you've stuck them down like this, they're fine. I've never seen them show any inclination to pull up again. So I think we're all right. Just want to take my time over that bit where the tag is. There we are. So that's pretty. Just need to ink it. Uh, I'm going back to my gathered twigs. I'll still have some versifying on my dauber, but do I need to round the corners? No, I'm not going to. This will make it look better once it's inked, I think. I think it will. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so, oh, the back. I'm just going to use some um, legible text for the back. Just a little bit. Um, this one, I don't know what it is, but it'll do. I'm going to use the Versafine, otherwise it's got no chance of showing up. There we are, that's fine. It's just something to take the plainness off it. So, hooray, we have a little tag. It goes in there. Lovely. That's nice, it's in keeping with everything else. Oops, okay. So now um, I want something for the front. So this is one of the, this is the same as the piece that goes inside, except it's in cream and not... Uh, craft. So I thought I would make a <coughs> put that over there and then you won't see the gubbins of the of the envelope but obviously I can't stick it there because then I'd have stuck my journaling card in. So let's decorate it first see what we want to do and then uh, go from there. Well, I thought I'd use washi, actually. I've got lots of washi. I never use it. So I've got this one. It's pretty. And I've got this one. Actually, that's a bit too grey, I think. So I'll leave that to one side. And I'll use this. Wait. Oh, I see. It sort of comes in lengths like that. Oh, well, that's OK. We can fit it in there. Not convinced that's absolutely straight, but it's not far off. There we go. So let's burnish this down and then cut the ends off. This is another tape that came from Ali. They're really good for washi tapes and stuff like that. There we go. So I'm just going to trim off the excess. Oh, 
tell you, Ali are not in any way as cheap as they used to be. They used to be so cheap, you know. You could just buy things on spec and think, oh, I might like that, I might not. And it would be, you know, no money really. Whereas now, mm, I've got to think, yeah, do I really want that? There we go. So that's a really nice background, I think. Um, and I can't remember what I thought I was going to put on it. Oh, yeah, I wondered if I could get this ticket on it. But I probably need to make some sort of belly band type arrangement. And in yesterday's kit, just remembered about this, we had a long, thin label like that. And actually, you know, that's not far off. So let's use that. Uh, I'm going to stamp it first with something. Don't know what. Hadn't thought this far through. Um, it's Transportation Company. Uh, Workroom 220. Or oh, what have I got on here? Oh, these are all field notes. So probably not quite so interesting um what shall i choose what shall i choose honestly we spend half our time working out what we're going to use and it doesn't really matter <laughs> it honestly does not really matter uh what about that is that too long just marginally too long oh dear tag number oh i like that that that's the that's the one that's the boy right looking round for my oh my goodness me here it is right in front of my face dear me uh I'm, yeah i'll stamp it on with a versafine i was thinking i would stamp it with black but it's too it's too much we haven't really used any black on here so So I'm just going to bring that over to one end, like that. There we go, tag number. Yay! That's nice. Put that back in its place. Ink around here. I think we might have to cut something off the end, but um, we'll see. Let's see. So if that goes there and that goes there. Might be all right. Might get away with that. Let's try it. see for anything like straight nothing like straight is the answer right that's that looks weird now because the thing's off straight I'll put it there so if we've got any sticking out I'm just going to trim it off and it is the merest hint but it'll be fine there we go all right, so I'm just going to ink around there. I'm going to use the VersaFine just on the washi paper. It does take ink, all right, but I'd be happier if using the VersaFine. There we are. I'm just going to waft my heat gun over it just to dry that VersaFine off. Ha ha, I thought I'd try the uh, pause button again to see if it was working and it was. So, um, yeah, 
Now, you ended up being posed for that and that's going to go under there. I don't know if I can fit just one or whether I can actually fit two. So I just want to ink this but not really that heavy just to say it's inked really and that's all because it looks odd if you you know if you've inked everything and then you leave something out so you know from once I start inking I like to make sure everything's inked to some degree right so do you want to go under there I don't think I can get two. I don't think that'll stay down. Let's try it this way then. Oops, look, see, that side's come undone. It's because we trimmed it. We didn't leave very much glue on it. I think we'll be all right. I'll just, um, I'll put some glue and some clips. And we can get on with the back of the envelope while that's thinking about life. Let's put one on each side. There we go. So that's a pretty little front to our envelope, I think. Yeah, that's going to look nice there, I think. So um, what I could do now is... That's the wrong day's dies. This is the right day. I could use these to point towards the center you know where the tag is uh, I just want to see if I like them or not get it the right way around I don't dislike them and it does add something to that yeah I think I'll I think I'll go ahead and use those Where's my other one gone? Did anyone see it? Did it fall in there? Yes, it did. <laughs> well, well. Honestly, I lose so many things, it's untrue. I thought I was a bit more organised this morning um, than yesterday. But, you know, it would appear not, wouldn't it? So let's put that there. No, let's have it like that. There we go. Yes, just like that. And this one needs a bit of ink around it. There we go. So Mr F's gone off. Ooh, gone off shopping today from grocery shopping um left me in charge <laughs> yeah in charge of catkin i think that's about the only thing i'm in charge of really <laughs> there we go so that's fine I like that and that's going to go in there like so yeah like that so now we've got the back to think about and i did think that i would use i'm putting that there try and remember okay i will i thought i would use one of tim's salvage tags i really like them they're gorgeous and we've got quite a bit of space to play with here because we can come right down to there and right up to there, for that matter. And they're double-sided, so if I stick that down there, you'll still see, you know, it's still proper on, on this side as well. So let's let's ink around that first off before we um, proceed. Because I might not have had this clear in my head. I might not have done, I might have done, I can't, can't even remember. I love these salvage tags. I couldn't tell you how many packs of these I've gone through. 
so many. I need to get on learning how to do um, digitals and then I can make this tag or something very similar and then I'll you know, be able to print it out whenever I want to instead of having to buy another pack of salvage tags. Right, so that's going to go on there. And what I thought I would do, I got this, I've got this tag. I went through all my digitals this morning on my lap book and I've got loads. So I just printed some out with impunity. So I want to tear that top bit off. in a not straight manner like that yep and I want to just tear along the bottom as well so it's not straight there we go and I'm going to stick that on there I just like it I like the look of it um, but before I do that, I'm going to make a little pocket in there to put something in. But before I do that, I need to stamp it up. So let's get the stamps out and see where we are. So article or kind of material. Well, my workroom stamp would fit in there really nicely. So that's what's going to go in there. Now this is in black. So I think I will actually use black for this stamping. I might use some red somewhere, but largely black, I think. And it doesn't matter if they fit completely in the space that, you know, that you're going for. It doesn't matter because they never do. I mean, that's just perfect. It hasn't stamped out perfectly yet. It looks so good couldn't do that if you tried um, and then it says amount unit counted by okay um, so I just need some little numbers really are there any on the field notes no they're quite large numbers aren't they um, I'm going round them all. How about that one? How about we put that one there? Yes. Let's do it. Help if it was the right way up though. That's, that's marvellous. I'm loving the fact that these aren't coming out completely perfect. They're much nicer when they don't. Um, and the amount, I might do that in red. If I can find out my red. Yeah, I've got this stays on cherry red. Black cherry it is actually. And it's a really, it's a perfect colour for this I think. Oh, better work out what I'm putting on it first. Um, do, no, that doesn't fit. Don't be silly. Don't be quite so silly. I can just put the 177 of that bit on there. It says department 177, but if I just think the 177 bit should be okay. Let's give that a try anyway, see what happens. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, it's come out quite black. There must have been black on the on the stamp previously, I think. Hadn't been cleaned very well. So what have I got at the bottom then that I need to 
So let's go in there. Oh, I've got all of these at the bottom. Okay. Amount, total value, date. Well, I haven't got anything like that. Um, so maybe I'll just put one big stamp across there. Like this number one. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it in red. This looks like a brand new stamp. I don't think this stamp has been used at all. So I shouldn't have the problem with the black. I'm going to put it at a bit of a jaunty angle. I know that really annoys some of you. You can't bear it. I know that. Yeah, that's that's lovely. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Let's put that one away. Now then, let's let's stick that on whilst we're working on the back and then we'll come to what you can see on the front. Yeah, I really, really like that. Um, could do with chopping it off a bit, actually. Make life easier. Make life easier all around. Let's just chop a little bit off and see where we're at. Yeah, this is typical, isn't it? Six inches of space to work in, honestly. doesn't matter how many times I tidy up, it just doesn't matter. What does that say? Article or kind of material. Okay. It's fine, it's just, just needs that off there. But I think that's pretty, really pretty. I like it a lot. Oh, need to ink it. Need to ink it, guys. Nearly forgot. The sides I can do later, but I just want to do the top and bottom because that's pretty impossible to do once it's stuck down. Yeah, the thing about really frosty nights and days is the, the, the sky is cloudless, completely cloudless. It's a gorgeous sunny day. Um, until you take that first breath when you walk out the door and it's uh, uh, just cold. So I'm just going to get that edge straightened up there. Stick it down. And I'll just have a little bit to take off down here. I think that's pretty. I like that. I've used these um, salvage tags in all sorts of guises. But I have never, ever used it in a pretty fashion. So, there's always a first. Right, so that's that. It will straighten out, it's just the glue's wet, so. So let's ink around the sides, shall we? In case we forget later. There we go, and yeah, I think we're all right there. Right, so. That's going to go on there, like that. So what am I going to see on the other side? Not that much, to be honest. It's a little bit at the top and th that bit at the bottom. So, you know, n nothing really. Not eating. Well, that's not true. I can see something. Um. So... Let's put, and um, reserve just jumped out at me. So it's going to go on there. And I'm going to use my red again. Put that up at the top. Up there. Reserved. It's a very blacky red, this. I must have contaminated the pad. Um, and what am I going to put on the bottom? That's the question. Um, let's have a look at it the right way on instead of trying to read it backwards. Factory number. Yes. 
Excellent. Yeah, that's that's just the job. That's just fine. Use the same colour. See if I can bring some of that red to the to the surface. There we go. That's that's just grand. I'm happy with that. That back in its place. There we go. Put the ink away and then see what we're doing. Lovely. Put that there. Okay, so that's going to go on like that. And I'm going to just glue it at the top and the bottom of the envelope so I've got a little space to put something. And this, which should be dry now, should we can stick that on now. I'm going to go on there. Yeah. But I've just got to be careful where I stick it. So what I'm going to do is... Put some glue ju just around that V of the of the envelope because you don't want things going in there. You know you don't want it catching. How far across does this come? Oh, pretty nearly all the way. my television just suddenly <coughs> suddenly start up oh dear me right so that should go there like that and we should have no glue where we want no glue let's hope that that's going to work give it a good press down There we go. It hasn't stuck to there. No. We're all right then, I think. I think that's okay. There we go. Right. Phew. So now it's a matter of sticking the this onto here. Um, but I just can't remember temporarily. There's my tally again. What's that about then? <laughs> no idea. So ju I'm just going to pause you a second while I try and remember what it was I was going to put in there. I'll be back in a second. Right. Well, I've had a think, <laughs> and I reached for these are these are new set, uh, set of stamps for me, um, and they come they're they're unmounted. But the, I haven't said that. Feel I think they are mounted. Um, it's Roman numerals, a little didgeridoo, a key, uh, gears and two flowers. And I rather like these and I was delighted when they fitted. So I've cut that out round there and I hope it's going to work. <clears throat> Let me just uh, silence the tally that <laughs> feels the need to jump on every couple of minutes. So I'm going to give that a go. And I think I might use some, I might have to use actually some distress uh, colours because I haven't got a, a pink in, in any of the, what's that, spun sugar. That'll do, will that, will that do? Spun sugar and bundled sage. 
Mm, I think so. So she's still looking, so she's obviously not happy. Warm lipstick. No, let's go with what I've got. Tattered rose would be better. Tattered rose. Do I own such a thing? What's that trying to commit Harry Curry there? Paper Mania pigment pad. That's quite a nice pink. Yeah, let's go with that. I don't even know if it's got any pigment in it. To be honest, but we'll see. Right, so let's ink up the flowers. The flowery part. Is there any ink in there? I don't think so. I don't think there's any ink in it, which is a bit problematic. No, not, not a bit. So you know where that can go, don't you? Straight in the bin. And let's resume our quest for something like... Ah, there we are. Salt water taffy. That's nice. That's probably even nicer, actually. So that'll do, do us fine. It's a kind of pinky, peachy, corally colour is saltwater taffy. It's a bit of a hybrid sort of colour. I like it a lot though. I need to get in there like that. Might have to do a practice piece first. There isn't any green I can get to actually, to be honest, so it's going to have to be all this colour. Oh, no, I like that. That's really nice. It's delicate. Delicate, yes. So let's stamp it onto our thingy. I'm never a huge fan of stamping with Distress products because they're not really meant for that. Um, and the, the felt on the top is very rough, so you don't get a fine print. Just checking I haven't got any around the edges. There we go. Right, let's see if we can get this on then. But sometimes if you haven't got any other colour, that's what you've got to use, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty. That's really pretty, actually. Um, let's wipe that off because it's its first day out. <laughs> it's first day trip. I'll put that there. So I'm just wondering if I spritz that, if it would just... Shall we try it? This is definitely not um, watercolour card, so... And that might be moving a little bit. Don't really want to put any more water on than that. And it's not really for moving. It is a little bit, tiny, tiny bit, but not so as you'd notice particularly. <coughs> Let's dry that off. Okay, so there we are. It's very pretty. Right, let's ink around that then with the gathered twigs. They always look so much nicer when they're inked around. Do I need to stamp or anything on that? Maybe something down there would look quite nice. I can't resist my stamps. Not that I have to, but I can't. 1913, as Mr F would say, the year I was born. 
<laughs> but then again, he's cheeky. And I might do it, seeing as we're stomping with distress, I might do it with the gathered twigs because I don't want it too, too dark or it'll just I'll just lose my flowers if that's the case. Let's pop that on the bottom there. That's fine. Grand and dandy. Right, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Okay, so I probably want a, a tab on it actually, because we are in danger of losing this uh, into the where the pocket is. Uh, so what sort of tabs do I have? I don't want one that goes too far in, or I'll lose my... I've got that one in. No, I need something to pull it with, I'm thinking. So it's going to have to be this one. Uh, no, it could be that one. Yeah, let's use this one. Okay, just quick. This goes around with a bit of ink. Fold it in the center. Get it stuck down, we're nearly there. I promise tomorrow I will be more organized. I don't have to stop in the middle of things and think what I was trying to do. I thought I was organized, but I obviously wasn't. Right, so that's our little journal card. Where's <coughs> the illegible text? It's over here somewhere, I think. I've got a professor and a leaf. Oh, I thought it was in here. Is that it? That's it. There we go. It's just a small scale one, which will look better with this. So back to the gathered twigs. And just little bits around it. Yeah, it, it just helps. It helps bring it all together. And then on the back, I'm going to put some text as well. There we go. That's lovely. So now all I've got to do is stick the label, the this, and put something through the top as well. So I want to put it about there. I want it just up from the bottom, and then that'll make it just up from the top. So we should be all right with that. And I want to leave this side open for my card which is going to go in there. Let's just check that out. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Right, so I'm just going to put my um, glue on here, on the, on the actual envelope. And I can put it down here because the card isn't so big that it, you know, needs all of it. There we go. Right, so let's get it placed right about there. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Got a bit bit of seepage, a little bit to be expected, I suppose. So that's our tag pocket that's what it looks like oh, you can't even see that stamp oh well never mind but you can see that one at the bottom so that's fine i'm just pressing it in make sure it's stuck 
and that's just going to pop into there it matches those nicely so that's just going to go like that <coughs> excuse me I probably need something on there to be honest it's looking a bit um, plain and I want something through there and what I'm going to use is my um, this the hemp string jute twine call it what you will it answers to all of the above now then actually I think I'll just do it normal otherwise it's going to look weird on one side if I put a bow on one side it's so I'm, I've doubled it over because it is quite fine this just shove that in through through the owl there we go and then put my two ends through my two ends there we go that's that's fine that's nice so I'll cut those off a little bit they don't need to be quite that big I don't like them when they're all the same length so I'll cut them at various lengths and I'm just going to add a drop of glue to there could add a button I suppose um, no I'll just put a drop of glue there and it'll keep it from coming apart which is an, an annoyance if it does so just work that in a little bit with your with your thumb and that'll keep it that'll be fine so the only thing that I really want to look at now is this tag here. I don't know what I'm going to put on it. I don't even know if I've got anything small enough to put on it. But let's have a look and see. Way hello, 1913. Um, oh, they're all falling off. It's really, it's really small. Um... that one there has got very small text but it's quite all close together but I'm thinking if I just could ink one part of it would be fine and I'm gonna go for is my red anywhere around no there it is, I can see it. It's on my desk. I can't wait now to finish this and get my desk tidied because it's just, it's driving me mad now, to be honest with you. So I just want to ink that top line and I'm just going to have to take the rest off with a bit of rag. Just along there. It's completely unnecessary this, you understand. It's just me. So I'm not using a stamp block. I'm just going in. Look at that. US cereal. Focus then. Take my word for it. It says US cereal. And it's going to go in there. Like so. So that just tells people there is something in there. Right, we have finished it. It is done. Thank you very much for your patience. Don't worry, tomorrow's will be seamless. You'll wonder who it is, actually. It'll be so good. So there we have it. This is our front of our envelope. We've got a little belly band on there. We've got two tickets in it. Inside the envelope, we've got that uh, beautiful journal card, which is really lovely. Uh, and that just fits into our envelope like that. Got the two arrows here pointing to the fact there's something in there. Then you fold it over, you bend it, turn it over even. And you've got this salvage tag with some flowers on it and a little tag in behind it. Perfect. And there we have it. That is our P 
page number two, back and front, done. I hope you like it. I hope you think it was worth the effort. Um, actually, I really do. I'm liking this kind of vibe that we've got going. I'm not sure what vibe it is, but I, I do like it. I really do. So um, this is the next one in line, this um, big uh, file thing, index file, whatever it is. Um, but that has a sort of centre to it. So I need to need to think about that one. So when I come on, I'm just seamless. OK, guys, thanks for uh, joining me. It's a pretty lonely old place without you, so it's really nice that you joined me. Chestita, can't wait to see what you're doing with yours. I'm sure it's looking splendid. And if anybody else is having a go, please tell me in the comments below. I love to know that, you know, I'm not just talking to myself, although I do do that quite a lot. And I'll see you very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.